Hi everyone! Welcome back to Vital Healing. My name is Dr. Candida Schwartz. I am a naturopathic doctor as well as an intuitive healer. Today, I would like to talk about bentonite clay and its many uses. The predominant one that I'm going to talk about is how it's kind of nature's facelift. I'm actually going to be demonstrating it for you. So, who's excited? Give me a comment, a like, a subscribe. Let me know, are you familiar with the product? Have I used it with you in practice? Um, uh, what, what are you interested in? Are you excited about this? There are so many uses. So I just wanted to show you that I did about three tablespoons of, of filtered water and a couple of drops of lavender, a couple of drops of frankincense, maybe a third of a teaspoon of organic apple cider vinegar. Yeah, and I just made a paste. And so I'm just gonna demonstrate this for you. And while it's cooking on my face, <laughs> I am going to talk about all of the benefits and a couple of things to be leery about with, with this product. Some things that are, let's say, contraindications or just things that you need to be kind of aware of. So I am just going to take this. I made it with warm water just because it feels good to my skin, especially in the winter when I'm cold. I like this to be warm. And I do it probably once a week. And I get my neck, get all these little bumps. Um, another thing, I'm putting it in a mosquito bite that I got the other day. And also, you can put it on any aches and pains, any sprains or strains on the body. So I always have really tight neck muscles. I do always have it around in the refrigerator. It goes on thicker when I do that. I know I had a mosquito bite and some caterpillars, the brown tail, brown tail moths are getting us here in New England, the mosquitoes. Um, this is it cold. It's a little bit thicker. It's the same idea, but it's cold. So it goes on a little thicker and that can be really nice if you're just super itchy, super hot in the summer. So you can play around with it. It keeps for a few days if you cover it in some jar in a jar, you know, a glass jar. So I let this hang out for maybe five minutes and I let it dry. And again, so how can we use this? Nature's facelift. It's astringent. It is, um, it'll mess up your eyebrows <laughs> when you're on tape. <laughs> um, it is an astringent. It is a tonifier. It is a purifier. It is a, um, a brightener. It, it's just, it's just incredible. The lavender and the frankincense, and I would have put geranium also in, are all really great for the skin. Um, the, uh, the lavender and the, um, frankincense are both antimicrobial. They're very calming. They're very, they're all three of those oil oils are very nourishing to the skin. Um, so mosquito bites, bruises, sprains, strains, nature's facelift, you know, once a week. Um, what else would I use it for? Um, Another really interesting little side note tip is, is that it's great for like icky odors and cabinets or refrigerators. Um, I'll just take a jar and I'll put some bentonite clay and some baking soda and my favorite oils, you know, lemons and things like that. And um, I just let them hang out in the, in the cabinets or in the refrigerators and they just kind of purify and pull all of those um, icky odors out of wherever they are. Um, you can put a little bit in your tooth on your toothbrush and that's a natural whitener and purifier and just kind of antimicrobial for the teeth um, and just for your overall oral health. Uh, you can ingest it, but I would, I'm not going to talk about that for, for this in particular video. I would recommend talking to a naturopath or a holistic physician for that. Um, 
One thing that I wanted to also mention is, is that it's really good for like foot baths because again, it's drawing, it's purifying, it's calming, it's relaxing, it's detoxifying. So really great for a foot bath. You could do um, a bathtub with it in like a cup, like a cup of this. Um, and I will talk about that in a little bit more in a little bit, but that is another use to just kind of do an overall detox or if you're feeling overall reactive and itchy with, you know, hives or bug bites or the brown, brown tail moths, you know, anything like anything like that. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about that I just like to give caution, this expands in water. This is controversial. Some people say it's not a problem if you use a lot of water, but this is going to expand in your plumbing. And so if you make, if you don't make sure that you have a lot of water pushing it through your plumbing, you could end up having problems. I'm afraid of it. We have a leach field here. I'm in, I'm in Maine, I'm in the woods in Maine, so I don't mess with it. When I dispose of it, I, I use a paper cloth, I use a separate basin of water, and I, clear it off, I throw this away, and I dump the water and clean out the pot outside with the hose. If I were to do a bath, I would probably get a kiddie pool or one of those horse feeding troughs that you can get at feeding stores. That's what I used to do. Um, and again, dump it all out. Let this volcanic ash go back to the earth, not into your plumbing. That's my, that's my take on it. You can do whatever you'd like with that, but I do feel like it's important for me to kind of give you that caution because I would hate for you to use this and then end up having a problem with your sewer or your septic system or your plumbing. The second thing is, is that if you're having really something really dry, like I have really dry cuticles. When I do this betonite clay, I find that it makes it drier. If you're having a dry eczema, any kind of dry reactive skin, I wouldn't use this because, or not, or I wouldn't necessarily use this as, as my first choice. Um, the reason why is because it's drying, it's drying, it's drying, it's clearing. Um, so I wouldn't want to aggravate your skin condition because, you know, I want you to feel better, right? Um, it can be really good for acne. It can be really good for um, cold sores. Lots of really great uses. The other thing about the apple cider vinegar, if you have really bad rosacea or really overly sensitive skin, just use water. I wouldn't add the apple cider vinegar. This does add to its purifying, cleansing, detoxifying effects, but it can make your skin a little bit more reactive. So again, I don't want to aggravate any situations, right? So as you can tell, it's starting to get dry and it's starting starting to be hard to move my, move my face. <laughs> um, so make some comments. Who's still with me? Who's excited to try this once a week and then wrap this up, put it in your refrigerator and put it on a bug bite or, you know, a brown tail reaction, get naked and just cover yourself in it, do a meditation and then, and then wipe it all off. Go hose yourself off outside. Um, it's really like my skin is so much calmer. I mean, I have, I have brought, you can't see it because brown tail is so tiny, but it's like all over my skin and I'm, I was so reactive and this just feels so good on my body. It's so calming and neutralizing and I just, I love Bet and Night Clay. <laughs> I'm not affiliated with Bet and Night Clay. I'm not affiliated with Now products. It's just, it's really inexpensive product that you can get at Whole Foods, uh, you can get it at New Seasons, you can get it at any co-op, often it's in bulk. I think I got this through Grove, Grove Collaborative and I think I paid like $8 or something for it. Um, so I'm just going to wipe it off because it's nice and dry and so Feel free to make comments, share this with your friends. I'm really trying to make best use of my time here. <laughs> oh, the world we live in. Um, all right. 
That is about right. So then I would take a shower and then, you know, moisturize as needed. Let me just dry this off for purposes of this video. And then, you know, use your favorite skincare products. So, see, I just, as you can tell, look at that. I mean, and I didn't even get it all off yet because I haven't taken a shower, but, oh, I'm so much calmer right now. I love it. Okay, so I'll see you for the next Thursday's episode. I have so many really exciting um, things planned for the next four or five weeks. So every Thursday, this was a little bonus one, okay? Um, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bells. Let me know, are there any things that you're interested in learning more about? I have already about 10 videos and so many more great ideas of things that I'd love to share with you all. So have a really great day. Take really great care of yourself and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.